جالبه که ایشون سالها زودتر از بقیه اپوزیسیون حسین واز 10 ایرز اهد اف تایم این پروتستینگ ایران رژیم بای دیسکلوزر کانتروورشل نیوز دی سیم استایل اف پابلیک اپوزیشن از ناو بینگ میمیک بای دوزن اف سو کالد ویسل بلوورز His large following inspired Hosseini to start a political commentary program called Good Night Iran on Pars TV. پس شیعه با نماز جمعه مخالفه میگه حرامه یعنی اون کسی که الان داره میره توی 33 سال بودی نم میشینه حرامه اصلا From the very first days this program attracted the attention of viewers and challenged many of their beliefs Unfortunately, this platform did not believe to freedom of speech as much as they claimed. A significant feature of Hosseini's programs was his live, direct, and clever communication with his audience over social media networks available at the time, especially Facebook, a unique tactic that put him ahead of the curve. Today, many political figures who appear on live feeds did not even know what social media was at that time. Or if they did, they had very few followers. Meanwhile, Hussein was communicating with his audience in their home in real time, before it was possible to host live video program on social network platform. Hosseini's last destination in Persian satellite media was his brief presence on the Channel One network. It's interesting, he had only one guest his program, Mansur Usanli, who later assassination attempt meant to frame restart at its leader Hussein. In the last program of Good Night Iran on satellite, Hosseini proposed a plan to change the regime in Iran, the first of many more to come from other opposition groups. He also asked the people to join him in this plan to overthrow the regime. But the people turned their backs on him. If this video gets to 300,000 to 400,000, it will start at 40 to 60. The view is that 2,000 to more than we have a friend in the night of Khairan. We don't have a friend. That's why the most popular Iranian TV personality paid goodbye to all Persian language media.